So for today, we're going to be looking at what Zer's selling, specifically the legendary armor, legendary weapons, and exotic gear. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. It really does help the channel. And other than that, let's just look at what he's selling. So for to start off, we're going to be looking at the armor, legendary armor. And for this, it's going to be pretty exciting because he is selling the new monarchy armor, which I actually really like the new monarchy armor. It looks really, really cool. Unfortunately, there's a few problems with each of the classes, specifically for the hunters. The cloak is pretty cool, but unfortunately, the like neck uh fabric thing is really bad when you combine it with other pieces and that's really it the other annoying part is the fact that this is a reskin of various armors from the game so that is also very unfortunate uh titans as well kind of and i mean kind of because the helmet is definitely not a reskin kind of technically not really um if we go inside the game i can actually show you in depth because uh it's just easier to show you than to tell you. Uh, so like, for example, the new monarchy armor is going to be right here for the Titans. This one right here, right? And all of this is really cool. Helmet's super cool, but unfortunately it does share similarities with one of the armors, which is the this one right here, the Carrick Type 2. So a lot of it's going to be similar. The only thing that's different, I think, is the helmet because it doesn't have the fur top. Yeah, it doesn't have the fur top so that's going to be the biggest difference of of that armor set is the fact that the fur top is different and uh that's really much it actually i think the mark is even the same if i remember correctly um no it's not actually the the mark is really really cool i actually really do like the mark um because it's something that's just on the back and then yeah very simple but i do like it for the warlocks it's gonna be which armor is it um I, 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 obviously i'm not looking at the armor right now so i don't yeah, that's the same one as the Hunter, which is the like the knight version of the armor. This one right here, the Philomath suit. A lot of it's going to be uh, the same except for the class item. The class item is actually really cool. It's going to be this like uh, mark that has like uh, scrolls, which I really like that. I use this in quite a bit of my armor sets. But for the Hunters, it's going to be the same thing for for the um, for the Warlocks. It's the Errant Knight 1.0 it's almost the same if not the same the only difference is uh there is actual armor on the sides like chainmail on the sides and this is what i was talking about is you'll see this like gap right here which is very unfortunate i think that's the only thing that's different because everything else is like quite literally the same yeah so just unfortunate very annoying but i still like the armor definitely worth a pickup because uh, you might never know when uh when this might be useful because it, the other good thing is because because it is a different armor set it's going to take shaders differently so it might not work with certain armor sets but for this armor it takes the shaders that you want so that's why i always recommend just pick them picking up all the armor because variation and variety is always going to be really really good uh warlock i think all of a lot of the pieces are really cool i like a lot of the pieces the chest piece is super cool the helmet is very decent but i think the chest piece and the bond are going to be the best pieces from that and for the hunter it's definitely going to be the boots the cloak and the arms i think those three are going to be really really good titans i think that i think almost everything's really really good but i think the helmet then the chest piece and the boots are going to be really good and the cloak is definitely a pickup for me as for the actual armor pieces uh the stats and whatnot you guys can see it right here really really cool uh the hunters have some really good pieces titans definitely have some good pieces and warlocks specifically have one that's like 2020 uh specifically was it 20 on resilience and 20 on grenades that one's really good but yeah these are the stats let me know what you guys are going to be picking up because i'm probably not going to be picking up any of this just because um i'm much more into the app uh, like the uh the artifice armor i just want that instead of anything else for the weapons, we're going to be looking at Velpicula with Encore Harmony. Harmony, Harmony. Um, I'm not even going to look at that. Enigma's Draw, no Thoughtless with Perpetual and Snapshot Sights. This would be a really good PvE. Yeah, this probably would, good, would be a really good PvP roll. It does also drop with uh, Handling. And it's an, it's an adaptive though, so I don't know if you need... Eh, it's okay. Uh, Judgment of Kelgaroth, uh, no. Brigand's Law, no. Shattered Cypher, no. And Lonesome with a Dead Moment and Slide Shot. This actually might be super cracked on controller. Uh, actually, I think this might be cracked in, in any anything because uh, Zen Moment got a buff, if I remember correctly. 
That's pretty much it for legendary weapons. For Hawk Moon, we have Killing Wind, which I actually like. And then Dead Man's Tail with Moving Target, which that actually might be viable now. And then we have Prometheus Lens, which I would definitely say is a pickup, worth a pickup, I should say. Dragon's Shadow with Mobility at 16, Resilience at 11, Recovery at 7, 27, Discipline, Jesus. Man, if you know, mm, if Discipline and, and Recovery had switched, this would have been a nasty roll, man. And then we have Mark 44 Stand Asides. I like this just because you get extra shields. And if you want to run this with Arc Titan, it's even more gross because you get a shield on top of a shield on top of a shield and stupid as fuck. And then Fell Winters with eh, okay rolls. I definitely have seen better. And let's see what I'm going to get. Probably trash. I always get trash. I don't know why. So let's see what I get. Always get Bro, that's like this is from last week. That's how crazy it is. This is from last week and I got another one again. Let me see. Hold on. All right. So what did I get? Let me see. Um, you know, you know, I don't think I mind this because I have been thinking about doing a, a high mobility, high recovery, no high mobility, high resilience hunter. So that way, if I need healing on demand, I can just use worm husk to like proc my healing. Uh, cause I think it, it procs, it doesn't just heal you. It, it like actually procs, um, dodging small, oh. mm, I don't know. I thought he, I thought it only, I thought it not only healed you, but it gave you like a recovery. Like actually, eh, it doesn't matter. Let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. I am, uh, pretty excited for the season to be fucking over. So that way we can actually do some stuff again. Um, I will most likely do a video at the end of this week explaining uh, some thoughts going forward because I have a lot of things to do. Uh, specifically, we will be doing some other games in the channel. I know I, I know this might be a bad idea considering I'm pretty much known as a Destiny 2 content creator now. Um, but I want to be more than that. I want to be more like a fashion content creator within video games, if that makes any sense. So like World of Warcraft, Final Fantasy 14, Warframe, Destiny 2, uh, Diablo 4. Actually, I have some content that I created for that. that I still haven't posted on the channel because uh, I'm just afraid of the of the like algorithm changing to like just fuck me over because the algorithm has been doing really well so far because I've been pushing content. So I'm kind of afraid to like try something new. So if anything, if I don't, if you guys don't see new content coming from me, then I probably have just made a second channel, third channel technically, because I do have a second channel, a third channel that I've just, I'm just going to start posting like specifically, like, I don't know. It's, I can't really justify that. I mean, either way, I, I will talk about this in a future video because I do think it's important because I, I play more than just destiny Two. like shit currently right now. I'm on V rising because they just got an update and I were, I wanted to check it out. So like I play more than just destiny Two. like I play a lot of stuff guys. So limiting myself to only destiny Two is kind of, um, I think it's kind of dumb when I just have so much stuff that I can pull from. Like I could do fallout Four fashion because that's also a thing. Not only that, they have mods in there so I can even go in more depth with that. And yeah, the list goes on. So. Let me know if you guys are interested in fashion in other games because I really, really want to do it. And I just want to know that people are actually going to be like, yeah, I'll check it out because that's all I really ask. So be safe. I will see you guys later.